Hey kids, welcome to Unit 2 Lesson 1 Variables, exercise number 5. Now that we've declared and initialized some variables, let's practice changing their values. In my console, we're going to set my integer to now store the value 75, my double to store 6.37, and the my string to now reference the string welcome to Java. Well, then we're going to print those off again. That doesn't sound too bad. Let's go down here and borrow something from another lesson. Let's put some dash lines so we can tell the new from the old apart. And all I'm going to do is put some dashes. Do not forget your quotes in here, kids, because we want it to print literal. And then our semicolon. Now we're going to redeclare some variables. And remember the important part. When we redeclare, we do not need to redeclare the data type, just the name we want to change and the new value. That means down here for my integer, I can just type my integer, and the new value it's going to get is going to be 75. My double equal to 6.37 and then the my string is now going to say welcome to uh, java like that now we need to print those off again and really what we can do is we can take our three from above and paste them down here because we're recalling the same variables from above. Now when I hit run, I should get my old values, a dashed line, and my new values to print off. 75, 6.37, and a welcome to Java. Well, let's see if I'm right, kids. There you go. You can see our old and new values. Pretty neat. Key takeaways from this lesson. Key takeaway is whenever we redeclare or change the value of a variable, we don't have to add the data type. Just like in CSP, we only use the var once. We only use the data type once when we're initializing. After that, we just need the variable name and then the new value we are changing it to. Hopefully this lesson helped you learn a little bit about changing variables values. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, kids, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.